Okay, YouTubers, so this video is the video I put together that is designed to quiz you on uh, your rhythms uh, from the video that we went over previously. And I'm going to do that again. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys, so now this video here is designed for you to test yourself on how you know your rhythms. Um, and we're going to provide those rhythms in a different type of medium. So we're going to be using um, here, it's a simulation program um, that's designed to kind of simulate um, the same kind of monitor you would see in the hospital. Um, so I have turned off a couple things and I've turned on a couple things here to uh, make it easier for you to see. So we just have a basic lead to strip here and a basic V1 strip here. So we're going to be able to diagnose a couple things, um, but there's a couple that we'll probably have a hard time diagnosing on here, so you're going to have to uh, be able to recognize that we want to make an uh, order for a 12 lead EKG. So um, I'm going to just put the rhythm up, and I'm going to let you think for a second about what it is, and then I will go ahead and uh, tell you what the rhythm is. I'll show you what the rhythm, what makes up this rhythm, uh, and then we'll move on to the next one. So if you haven't uh, watched my previous videos, make sure you watch those first um, so that you know the um, what causes these rhythms or what to look for um, between these different rhythms because there are a lot of them um, and there are that some that are very life-threatening. So um, I have a box over here on the left side of your screen so you are not able to see the different rhythms that I'm selecting. Um, but uh, so we're going to go ahead and start here. So what is what is this normal? Well, I guess I gave it away. This is your normal sinus rhythm. All right. So you have a P, Q, R, S, T. Straightforward. V1 is inverted just because of the axis of where you're looking. So um, inverted P wave, Q, R, S, T. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to give you another one. Here it comes. Any ideas? So this is actually one of the ones I was talking about that's kind of hard to diagnose um, through this situation. This is a first degree AV block. Um, this is diagnosed by having a PR interval. So here's your P wave, here's your R wave, or QRS. P to R interval is greater than 0.2 seconds. That's a first degree AV block. Okay, moving on here, let's give you something else. There you go. Any idea? This is an A fib, typical atrial fibrillation. Um, this is characterized by this rapid fibrillation or rapid electrical activity that's occurring between the QRS complexes. Typically, you're going to have a high heart rate, a fast heart rate. Um, this is um, due to the atria fibrillating or um, fidgeting, twit, I don't know how you want to describe it, um, twitching, rapidly twitching atria. So. You're not going to have your atrial kick. Um, this can be pathologic. It can also non, be non-pathologic. It's treated typically with, um, you give them either a blood thinner or an anticoagulant so that um, they don't form clots because the blood in the atria can become stagnant. Um, it doesn't move, and so then you can develop a clot in that area. So this is a classical AFib. Okay, we'll go on to the next one here. Any ideas? So this is a classical example of ventricular tachycardia. So you have this sawtooth-like rhythm that we talked about in the other video. Um, your rate is typically fast, which is seen here. We got our fast heart rate. Um, this is life-threatening. This can um, 
be caused by having a PVC on top of a T wave. Um, they call that a P on T, or uh, yes, I believe it's P on T. Um, it can be caused by a re this is so it could be a reentry rhythm. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that can cause this. It is life threatening. You need to defibrillate this person, give them a rapid shock, um, and then you can also pharmacologically treat it. But we won't get into that uh, yet. Um, now we're going to go into another rhythm here. Tell me what this one is. All right, any ideas? So this is a third degree AV block. Um, this is seen uh, indicative by, you got your inverted QRS waves. Um, your P waves are inverted if you have them. I don't really see a P wave here. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing a P wave in this situation. Um, you can have your QRS complex doesn't always necessarily need to be inverted. It can, just depending um, upon which axis you're looking at. Um, I'll have to check and see if the other video I showed you had an inverted QRS or not. I'm not sure if it did. Um, I don't think it did. Um, but just know that they can be different presentations. The main thing to look at here is that you have random P waves they're not followed by QRS waves. So your P waves are just going random, they're crazy, they're not doing anything, and your uh, QRS complex is occurring uh, all by itself randomly. All right, we'll move on to the next one here. Let's do, give you this one. There you go. Any idea? So this is a junctional rhythm. So this is where the pacemaker of the heart is actually coming from the AV node um, and not from the SA node. So this is indicative by, or indicated by you don't have a P wave. If you do have a P wave, it's inverted. Um, and you have a very slow heart rate. So I think in the other video we said you can have anywhere from 40 to 60 is your typical pacemaker rhythm um, set by the AV node. Um, let's see, I think that's yeah, pretty self-explanatory in this video here. Uh, next one we'll go to... This one could be tricky. Any ideas? So this one is a second degree AV block type one. Okay, so remember in the type one, our P wave and our QRS complex, so our PR interval gets greater and greater and greater, and then we finally don't even have a QRS complex, right? So here's one P wave, QRS, P wave, QRS, P wave, no QRS complex. So um, it is pathologic. Um, Type 2, or I'm sorry, it's a second degree AV block type 1, increasing PR interval until you drop your QVC. Here's the next one. Alright, so this is a second degree AV block type 2 and this is characterized by you have random P waves that are not followed by QRS waves um, and you have P waves that are followed by QRS waves but the PR interval does not increase it is the same um, so you can see here this PR interval is the same as this PR interval but then you also have that P wave that's right there and you have another one that's here um, that's not followed by a QRS complex so that is a second degree type 2 AV block. Let's do... Um, let's 
see here. How about What do you think this rhythm is? This is V-fib, ventricular fibrillation. There is absolutely no recognizable um, or oriented electrical rhythm. This is just random electrical activity. Um, the heart will be looking like a bag of worms uh, if you were to see it. You have no recognizable pulse seen up here. Um, your pulse is also, well I guess this is not working correctly here today, but I haven't disabled. Um, and your blood pressure will not um, be seen as well. So random, random electrical activity, there are no QRS waves, no P waves, no T waves, nothing. It's just random. This is life threatening, this will kill you, you don't have a pulse. Um, you need to give them pharmacological treatment and defibrillate them. Um, last rhythm here. There you go. Any ideas? So, this is an pace, or it's a pacemaker ventricular rhythm. So, remember in the other video we talked about when you have a pacemaker, um, there is no cell in the human body that can conduct an electrical activity as fast as this straight line is. So you have to think that this is caused by some other foreign um, artificial stimulus. So this is a pacemaker. This is firing and it causes an artificial um, QRS to form. Um, you're stimulating the heart either through um, like a pacing in the ER or a pacemaker that's implanted in the patient. So um, electrical stimulation followed by your QRS complex. Um, it can be used to sustain life. It can also be used to slow or speed up your heart rate um, if you're having issues there, but that's a whole other ball of wax we won't get into. So um, those are just a couple of the rhythms um, that we had uh, from the last video, but this was a video designed to test you on your um, knowledge or the ability that you had to learn those rhythms uh, from this last video in a more clinically oriented um, display. So I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message or uh, leave a comment. Thanks.